One of the guys got a crossbow, uh, just kind of like went around firing it everywhere. I mean, now thinking back, it's just absolutely mental. At uni, I lived with five people. There was four, no, five people. Yeah, four girls, one, one boy. Everyone's sleeping, it's like 2 a.m. And we just hear like massive screaming from downstairs and we're like, what the f is going on? You know, when you're like secretly messaging each other, like, um, what's going on downstairs, something mad's going on. And then we hear this massive crash. And basically one of my housemates was arguing with her boyfriend and got so f***ed off, she picked up her bike that was on the landing and threw it at him. <laughs> Wild. I don't, do you know how angry you have to be to pick up a whole bike? <laughs> she was not a big girl. She was very small, maybe like 5'2". And then what happens in the end? The police comes because our neighbours called the police to report a domestic abuse claim or case or however you say it because she had tossed her bike at him. And they're still together to this day, so you know. One girl that I live with in particular, I remember vividly, did not know how to share anything like obviously when you're in a shared house like you know some people have their own cupboards where they keep their own food or whatever um, but this girl took it to another level she would buy toilet paper and keep it in her bedroom and then whenever she wanted to go to the bathroom and use toilet paper she'd like take it with her use how much she wants to use and then like take it back again the same girl would also whenever she bought like a bottle of milk would use how much of the milk that she wanted to use and she'd get like a, a permanent marker and put like a line on the milk of like where it was. The point being that she would know if someone else had used her milk because it would go like below the line. Absolute like mission impossible precision of how much milk had been used. And if anyone did, which inevitably they did, they would get really in trouble. I remember one time she then accused one of my other housemates of having Put, like use the milk and then put additional lines on the milk. She said, there's more lines than I left and it all became like really quite insane and th there were some heated discussions between people because of um, because of the milk. Um, so yeah, I've had uh, a lot of, I have had some interesting experiences um, in certain living situations. Um, I think like university especially, I live with some interesting characters. I mean, I just live with some guys who just, just did not understand hygiene um, and it was like a real cesspit like I remember my dad dropping me off and seeing the house and just like crying just being like I can't believe I'm leaving you in this place um, but it got so bad that the bathroom downstairs it was kind of known for being like really disgusting as well but the bathroom downstairs had um, loads of mushrooms growing out from the like from the corners of the room so like from the tiles you had mushrooms sprouting and um, Toilet paper, I don't know if anyone else has this, but at university I feel like toilet paper is a big argument. You know, like who buys it, who's using it? And we kind of were at a bit of a standoff uh, for the downstairs bathroom, so like no one refused to buy. And in the end, there was just an Argos catalogue on the floor and the guys would just tear a page anytime they needed to uh, go number two. So um, that, was, <laughs> that was a fun experience. Um, and then in third year, I don't even know if I should say this, because I like, <laughs> It's pretty bad. So we all went out on a night out and it was, I lived with five guys at this point, um, but I loved it. I mean, they were all friends and I, I, you know, I still love them all. We went out on a night out and the next morning kind of came downstairs and like we could smell, there was just, the, the, you know, the distinct smell of but like we didn't know where it was coming from, but we knew that we could smell it somewhere. We just thought someone had maybe dragged it in on their, on their shoes or something. So like the whole day we were kind of uh, chilling and someone, went to get uh, a box of Frosties for breakfast or lunch or whatever it was, poured it out and it was actually <laughs> my roommate's boxes that was just filled with <laughs> that just plopped out into the bowl and we're like, oh my God, like not only like that's where the smell from, but we later discovered that there was also <laughs> all the way down to the basement toilet. So he basically like, <laughs> himself trying to run to the toilet I think or like going down the stairs and then decided to come back up and get the boxes and put them in the frosties so that we'd maybe find them later I don't even understand what happened um, uh, that was yeah I really have never opened cereal the same way again I think I've, I'm very cautious about it and uh, I'm just yeah watch out for that shit. I mean I don't know